Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode. This is episode number 48 and it's also the final episode of this series as well as we take on Barcelona in the Copa del Rey finals. Of course, this morning you would have seen us win La Liga in that 4-1 victory over Celta Vigo. Now we take on Barcelona to try and win the Copa del Rey and end up with a domestic double to end the season. Of course, I talked about this competition as well. It wasn't something I cared about too much. But of course, we've got to the final and now I'm starting to think, should I play my first team in it or use the backup side that got me here? I played a backup side in every single round. I don't know whether to use the first 11 or the backup side for this. I really, really don't. Surely I've got to use the first 11, right? I guess I will, but maybe I'll make some changes. But uh, anyway, uh, whilst I've been getting to this date, there have been a couple of things uh, going on in the background. Uh, a couple of emails, some tournament prize money as well. Uh, you'll see that on the screen right now as I set up the game. But anyway, final episode of the series as well, and I just want to say real briefly, um, thank you for all supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. Uh, obviously, it's a third full career mode, and also, you know, being started so late in the uh, in the year for FIFA. I knew this series wasn't going to do too well for views. That was always going to happen. It's it's something I couldn't really avoid. You know, like I was coming towards the end of FIFA. People lose interest anyway and regardless of what I'm doing. And uh, as a third career mode too, I knew not too many people would buy into it and want to watch the series. That's totally fine. But for those that have, I do appreciate it very much. It means a lot and um, I'm glad you've uh, hopefully enjoyed this series because I've, I've really enjoyed it. You know, I've really, really enjoyed this team and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun for me to use this side as well. Build this uh, young team, get so much young Spanish talent. It's been a lot of fun for me and I appreciate the support as well. It does mean a lot. So I really don't know what to do for this game, man. Like I really, really don't because I, I, I kind of feel like the backup side deserves to play for getting here. But if I if I use that side, surely we'll end up losing. Surely. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know. Um, I think I'll play for Borussia ahead of Kepa. Uh, I think, I, do you know what I'll do? I think I'll rotate a couple of players but not all of them. So uh, we use Fabrizio in, Hermoso in. Mayor Al needs to start um, without question after his fantastic campaign. He's the top scorer in this uh, in this com uh, competition. Um, so you can definitely start. Um, we'll take out Cavallero for Leyva. We'll start Charles Horas ahead of Bena. And we'll start Faria ahead of Sevalos, I think. So, yeah, that's that's the team I'll go with, I think. Is that okay? Uh, maybe Sion instead of Mera as well. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll rotate a lot of the side, but uh, but not all of it. I kind of want to play Cissé as well, but we won't. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. That's the team then. And let's get ourselves into the game. So, um, yeah, here we go then. Copa del Rey final. Final episode of the season. Final game of the series as well. Let's get the win. Let's get the domestic double. Come on, Rayo. Not sure what else to say, really. So, uh, oh, I've got to change the board, haven't I? But uh, yeah, let's get the win and uh, let's get that domestic double. Didn't really care about his competition pre-season, but now I really want to win it. Come on, Rayo. Let's end on a positive note and get another trophy. It's a good ball inside towards Suarez. And a chance for Barcelona to take the lead and they've hit the post as well. I don't know who that was. I think it might be Iniesta there or possibly Rakitic. I think Iniesta. And he smacks the woodwork. I surrender possession and fortunately the post comes to my rescue. He's Rakitic for Barcelona on the ball. Good ball through towards Suarez, who's in. And what a save by Fabricio. I've started him ahead of Kepa. He came flying off his line. And it's a brilliant stop to deny the Uruguayan. I think it was, it was Suarez. Yeah, it was Suarez. And uh, keep the score at nil-nil. Very good save there. And we get the danger clear. Oh, great tackle by Hermoso on uh, Mascarano. And Sainz goes for goal. And Ter Stegen denies him. And also denies Camarasa as well. Who I actually think was offside. Very good save with the German there. And unlikely player going for goal in science. Oh, oh, Mayoral wins it back. What a chance here. Takes it around Mascarano. Mayoral surely for 1-0. Oh, great save again by Ter Stegen. It'll drop to Leva and Leva can't get a shot away. Oh my goodness. A couple of brilliant saves by Ter Stegen as Barcelona almost gifted me a goal. Been a very good start to this game. Very good indeed. And here's Lever on the ball. Through towards Faria. Back out wide. And he'll find Camarasa. Lever's with him. Down the left-hand side. Holds it up. Whips in across. Mayoral is in there. Oh my god. A brilliant chance again. And Borja Mayoral's header goes wide the post. A couple of great chances for our striker in this game. I've given him the nod ahead of Perez. And he's the top scorer in this competition. He's had the chances. But he hasn't taken them. Still nil-nil. 
Lopez through towards Adama down the right hand side and a good touch by him gets him around his man through towards Camaras a brilliant ball there's a man inside it's Borromeo out and oh my god to Stegen again with another brilliant save my finishing is the reason we're not in front of this game I've created so many chances I've taken so many attempts I gave Mayer out a nod and I've had a lot of chances with him but my finishing has been absolutely terrible it's still nil nil and we should be in front so an action packed first half, lots of chances, but no goals as we go into the second half. Mayor Al, man, seriously, I, I started him ahead of Perez. He's the top scorer in this competition. I've, I've done so well to pick him out from time to time, but my finishing with him has been atrocious. But in his second half, though, you never know. He could get one more chance, and possibly this time he'll take it as Adama goes on the run here, using his pace through towards Lever, and a great chance here. Oh, he should have touched that ball first, but instead he'll cross it into the centre, and at the far post, there is Mayor Al again. And I've put their, sh their header way wide of the post. Honestly, the chances I've got for this guy but my finishing with him has been absolutely terrible and it's still nil nil Oh, PK, lazy pass, and Sergio Busquets loses out to Faria. Mayer out to him. Faria back inside. Mayer out, surely this time. Oh, my God. Mayer out through again. And again, I thought my finish was fine. But evidently not. Ter Stegen with a sensational one-on-one -on -one save. He's been brilliant in this game. And it is still nil-nil as the ball deflects off Mayer out and goes by for a goal kick. It's just not working. He's the top scorer in this competition. But in the final, I just can't score with him. It's still Still nil nil, come on! And here's a chance for Barcelona with Roberto on the ball and going for goal. And he makes it 1-0 and Barcelona take the lead. I surrender possession, passing out here. It was a poor pass towards Tras Horas. I couldn't get it back. And Sergio Roberto received the layoff from Suarez and went for goal. And he's done this against us before. And he's done it in the Copa del Rey final. What a goal. And when I can't finish from like eight yards out, I mean, seriously, I'm only going to get punished eventually against a great side by Barcelona. And I am here. The number 20 makes it 1-0. And I'm so annoyed at myself because we've had so many chances. I've messed up so many attempts. And, I mean, all it takes is a one moment of magic like that. And it can kill the game off. Barca make it 1-0. And despite us being in top in this game, you know, because of not finishing the chances, we're probably going to end up losing. It's 1-0 to Barcelona. And they take the lead. Just over 12 minutes to go, and if Barcelona score again, it'll be all over. Here's a cross by Messi to the centre. Lopez deals with it, but not fully. It'll come back in. Roberto, I thought, handballed that, but it'll come to Sandro, and Suarez is denied by a great save by Fabricio, but that will be that. Andres Iniesta secures the Copa del Rey, and Barcelona are going to claim the silver. i got to say, that looked like a handball from Sergio Roberto there, nodding it on and stopping us from getting the ball clear. Evidently not. Fabricio made one great save, but once it fell to Iniesta at the far post, it may have been a tight angle, but he's got the experience to find the back of the net. 2-0 to Barcelona. We've only got ourselves to blame, and I've only got myself to blame for missing too many chances in this one. But Barca are going to win the Copa del Rey, and there'll be no domestic double for Rayo. And there is the full-time whistle then. There will be no domestic double for Rayo come the end of the season as the curse of Barcelona continues. We failed to beat them all series long. We've lost every time we faced them and it continues in the final of the Copa del Rey as well. But I've got to be honest here, I've got only myself to blame for this one. I mean, Barcelona played well, don't get me wrong, had a lot of chances, but we had more and more clear-cut ones as well. And the decision to start Mayer out pre-game you know, wouldn't have seen so far fetch considering the fact he's the top scorer in this competition and he's one of the biggest reasons why we got to the final. But out of all the chances that fell to him, I can't believe I missed every single one. And to Stegen in particular for Barcelona, made save after save. And if it wasn't for him, I'm, I'm pretty sure we, uh, we would have scored at least once. Let's just say that. But anyway, Messi is going to lift the Copa del Rey. It's, it's a sad end to the series and a sad end to this second season, which had been so good. But do you know what? Despite that, I'm still not too beat up about it because we won La Liga. We won a piece of silverware in this second season. And that is awesome to see. It could have been the magic treble. I downplayed it all year long, but we threw it away in the Europa League. 
And in the Liga, uh, in La Liga, I should say, I'm glad we won the title. And I really did want the domestic double. It would have been quite nice. But as I said all year long, the Copa del Rey, I wasn't too fussed about it. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying not to sound too sad. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, detract the fact that I should have won this game. And I completely threw it away. But anyway, it's Barca to get the win by two goals to nil. And they are the Copa del Rey winners. So Barcelona claim the win. And i, I got to say, moment of the match for me. I mean, it could go to any Ter Stegen save. But I think it was this one here, which was the, probably the best one. Mayoral played through one-on-one. -on -one. That would have made it 1-0 two minutes after the restart. What a save on the one-on-one, -on -one, seriously. And Mayoral, all game long, frustrated by the German number one. So 2-0 to the final score. Barca claim the Copa del Rey. And that is all she wrote. So that is the end of the series then. And Barcelona apparently took one more shot than me. I don't, I don't know. I, I thought we played much better. That's just me. Maybe I'm being biased here, but maybe, maybe not. But uh, so Stegen, no doubt, man, the match, 9.4 and 9.4, he was phenomenal. And uh, Barca do claim the trophy. So that will do it then. That is the end of the episode. That is the end of the season. And that is also the end of the series as well. Unfortunately, we do end on a bit of a sour note, but again... Winning La Liga, I think, still makes this season a successful one. Even if we don't win a domestic double or a treble, I'm still pretty pleased with what we did this season. To win La Liga in just our second year, this Rayo side, we would have been massive underdogs going into the season. So it's still amazing to have gone ahead and done that feat. So to end the series, what I'm going to do is uh, show you the squad report, the final squad report of the series. And uh, I think I think that's pretty much all I'll have to show you. Um, I, I can't think of anything I'm missing. If I am missing something, I do apologise. But um, sometimes I show the stats. But uh, is, is is that the thing I'm thinking of here? That the player stats, the the top goal scorers, the assists, the clean sheets. I'm not I'm not sure. I feel like I'm missing something, but I. I, I can't think of what it is. So, uh, yeah, let's just do the squad report, and that will do it. So, this is my final uh, episode in a career mode series in Fever 16. So, I just want to say, you know, for this year, guys, I'll have a video sort of uh, discussing my plans for what I'll be doing in Fever 17 coming up very soon anyway. But uh, as this is the final episode in the Fever 16 career mode for me, I do want to say um, thank you for the support, not just on this series, but all year long. I really do appreciate it. It means an awful lot. Um, it was a frustrating year and again I'll, I'll go into more details in, in, in a special video coming out soon but uh, it, was a, it was a tough year I feel as though some of the series I did this year weren't the best but I still do really appreciate the support, it does mean an awful lot to me and I still feel as though some of the series I worked on this year were really really exciting, really interesting and, uh, and really entertaining as well at least in my opinion and I'm glad that you guys did show support year round uh, it really is appreciated and as for this series as well, I discussed it before we got into the game against Barca, um, um, it hasn't done as well as I wanted, but as I did say, it's coming towards the end of Fever 16 when I started. You know, it was my third main career mode. It was always going to be tough to get too much engagement and interest in it. But for those that did watch, I appreciate it very much. I had a lot of fun. You know, I really did. I had a lot of fun with this Rayo side. And I'm pretty confident how we continued with it. It would have got even better as the years went by. And we'd win even more silverware. So thank you for all supporting the series. It does mean a lot. And I do appreciate it as well. So that will do it then. So a big, big thank you for watching the episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I am sorry that we couldn't win the Copa del Rey. And I couldn't end with a domestic double to end the series but that's just how it is but at least we won La Liga in this morning's episode and I guess that's better than nothing so thanks for watching the series hope you have enjoyed it if you have then please do leave a like much love to each and every one of you thank you for the support throughout the series and I'll see you for another video on my channel very soon